Welcome, my friend. The spring season is amazing. We get to see the beauty of nature wake up and come alive. We get to see the power of the light in Mother Nature. In today's practice, we will focus on embracing the power of light, absorbing it, feeling its power upon us and within our body. We will begin low to the ground and flow our way up towards the sun. I don't use any props into our practice, but as always, please have them nearby to help meet your body where it's at. I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll join together in our comfortable cross-legged seated position, singing upon the pillow cushion to invite ease into your hips if you'd like. Let's roll your shoulder heads up and back, finding your vibrant long spine. On your next exhale, we'll soften your chin to your chest and begin to draw half moons with your nose. In your own time, finding a pace that feels good in your body, breathing in as you circle your ear to your shoulder and a slow, steady exhale as you circle chin down to chest. Keeping shoulders softened back and down, away from your ear. Feeling yourself arrive here in this moment with each breath you take, with each feel-good stretch and lengthening sensation you feel in your neck. Beautiful, my friend. The next time your chin lowers to chest, we'll pause there and inhale, lift up. Exhale, feel yourself, your body settling into the pose, grounding into the earth, into this present moment. Breathe in, reach up through the crown of your head, lengthening up towards the sun. Exhalation, ground down through your sits bones. Feel your body elongated, reaching up towards the sun, while also grounding into the earth. Let's take a moment to think about the power of the sun. The plants need sunlight to grow. Animals, including us humans, need plants for food and the oxygen they produce. With no heat from the sun, the earth would freeze. There would be no wind, no ocean currents, no clouds to transport water. Now take a moment to think about the power of the sun in regards to your emotional body. How does it affect your mood? How do you feel on a sunny day compared to that a cloudy, rainy day? Or when you have had many rainy days in a row and then the clouds part and the sun shines? When you are moved from the winter season to springtime? The power of sun and nature. Gently bat those beautiful eyes open and make your way to hands and knees. We'll tuck your toes and lift your hips to down dog. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Breathe and lift halfway. Exhalation, draw chest to thighs. Ground down through all four corners of your feet to circle your fingertips up. Palms kiss and lower to heart. Inhalation, circle up, feeling or imagining the warm sun upon your face, palms kiss, and dive it down through center. Step one foot back and then the other, plank pose. Shift forward to lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhalation, upward facing dog. And then using the muscles of your pelvic floor, lift to down dog. Now we'll shift forward, lowering your hips through center, lifting your heart, tuck-toed variation of up dog. Press down through your knuckles and fingertips to lift up through your shoulder girdle and we'll lift your hips down dog. Soften knees to the mat, lower your belly, lift your heart for a cow pose. Tailbone lengthens to the sky, then we'll exhale to round through to cat. Lift hips to down dog. We'll take that flow two more times, shift forward, lower your hips, lift your heart, tuck toed up dog. Lift hips down dog. Moving into cow pose, soften knees to the mat, lower your belly, lift your heart. 
and exhalation ripple in your spine to cat pose lift hips to down dog one more enjoy your breath and body united in motion shift forward lower your hips into tuck toed up dog lift those beautiful hips down dog soften knees to the mat flowing into cow pose exhaling rounding your spine cat pose Soften tops of feet to the mat. Bring big toes to kiss and melt your hips to your heels for childs. Feel into your body, your breath. Feeling your body grounded in this moment. And let's take our next flow. Round forward, tuck toes, lift hips, down dog. We'll step or hop to the front of the mat. Breathe in, lift, flat back. Exhalation, release. Let the action of grounding through your soles of feet lift you up, circling fingertips to the sky. At the top, interlace your fingertips, flip palms to the sky, sundial pose, heel toe feet a little wider than hip distance, ground down, breathe in. And on the exhale, begin to circle arms to the right, breathing in as you circle back up towards the sun. Taking that again on your own, getting long each step of the way, feeling it out. And we'll take that one more time, exhaling to circle down, having the intention of keeping those hips squared as you circle, enjoying the sensations, my friend. And once you arrive at the top, pause, reach back, lifting your heart, exhale, slowly circle your arms down side to side, bringing feet into hip distance. Breathe in, just circle fingertips up to the sun. Knit front ribs together, swan dive forward, hands frame feet. We'll step your left foot back, soften your back knee to the mat. Back toes remain tucked on your inhale. Extend fingertips to the sun. On your exhale, we'll slowly exhale your arms down wide side to side, nice and slow. Arms arrive down at your side, fingertips pointing towards the earth, palms spinning out to the side space. As you lift your heart, lift your gaze towards the sun being receptive and open to feeling and welcoming the power of the sun upon your being, soaking it up, heart lifted, feel good vibes, my friend. Then we'll soften forward hands, frame your foot. On your inhale, bring your right foot back, extending up to three leg dog. Bend your top knee, stacking your hips, nice hip opener here. Good, let's square your hips back up, lower toes to the mat, shift forward plank pose, and with elbows hugging along your side body, exhale to lower yourself all the way to the mat. Inhalation, peel your upper body off the mat for high cobra. Exhalation, soften forward. Make your way to down dog. We will take it right over to the second side. So step your left foot forward. Soften back knee to the mat. Back toes remain tucked. On your inhale, extend fingertips up to the sky. On your exhale, with slowly exhale your arms down wide side to side, arms right at your side, fingertips pointing towards the earth, pinky spinning forward. As you lift your heart, shoulder heads drawing down and back, feeling shoulder blades glide down your back. Gaze is lifted towards the sun, returning to our moment of feeling and being receptive and open to welcoming the powering of the sun upon your being taking in the powerful energy, this life force. And then we'll soften forward handspring foot. On your inhale, bring your left foot back, extending it into three leg dog. Bend your top knee and stack your hips for that nice hip opener. And then we'll square your hips back up, lower your toes to the mat, shift forward plank pose, elbows hug along your side body to exhale, lower yourself all the way to the mat. Inhalation, peel your upper body off the mat, lifting for a high cobra. Draw those elbows back. Then exhalation, just soften forward. Make your way to down dog. We'll step or hop to the front of the mat. Breathe in, lift, finding your flat back. Exhalation, release. Ground down, lifting up, circling fingertips to the sky. At the top, interlace your fingers, flip palms to the sky for our sundial pose on the second side. Heel toe feet a little wider, ground down, breathe in, and on the exhale, begin to circle arms to the left. Exhaling as you circle down, and breathing in as you circle back up towards the sun, taking that again on your own, 
really reaching away, getting along each step of the way to really feel out the movement. We'll take that one more time, exhaling, circling down, having that intention of keeping your hips squared as you circle. Then once you arrive at the top, pause, reach back, lifting your heart, release, and slowly swan dive forward. Feet into hip distance, hands frame foot. We'll step your left foot back, your feet on two separate tracks. Ground down through your front foot to roll up, arriving with palms at your side, open to the side space, lifting your heart, lifting your gaze, just like we did in low lunge. Beautiful. Now on your inhale, ground down through your front heel to extend your front leg, fingertips reach up towards the sun. And then exhale, we'll lower your hands at your side, bend into both your knees, back knee hovers off the mat, lifting your heart. Inhalation, extend your legs, fingertips reach up, on the exhale, sink back into the pose, arms at your side, bending into your knees. Cultivating a little heat just like the sun. Breathe in to extend, getting tall. Exhalation, lower back into the pose. Back knee hovers off the mat. Inhalation, rise towards the sun. Transitioning into warrior three, slowly shift your weight into your front foot as you shift your body forward. Lifting your back leg, reaching your fingertips out in front of you. Long line from fingertips to the back toes. Lift that back heel towards the sky. Now with control, soften your back toes to the mat and fingertips to frame your foot. Transitioning into three leg dog. We're moving into wild thing from here. So slowly bend your top knee to lower your toes back to the earth. And then once they're lowered, press and lift your hips up towards the sky as your right fingertips and reach back. We will transition from wild thing into our side plank pose. So with control, bring your back leg to stack on top of the front or step one in front of the other and extend your right fingertips up to the sky. Your hips will be stacked and lifting, feeling buoyancy in your hips. Breathe in. And then on the exhale, lower your top hand to the mat, plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Big, beautiful breath in, upward facing dog. And then we'll lift your hips to down dog. We are going to take that sequence over to the second side, beginning with stepping your left foot forward. Feet on two separate tracks and we'll ground down to that front foot to roll up, arriving with your palms at your side, opening to the side space, lifting your heart, your gaze, shoulders and hips square to the front of the mat. Beautiful. On your inhale, ground down through your front heel to extend your front leg, reaching fingertips to the sky. And then exhale, lower hands at your side, bending into both your knee, back knee hovers. Inhalation, extend your front leg, fingertips reach up. Exhalation, sink into the pose, arms at your side, bending into your knees, cultivating that heat. Breathe in to extend, getting tall. Exhalation, lower back into the pose, back knee hovers off the mat. Inhalation to rise towards the sun, transitioning into your warrior three, slowly shifting your weight into your front foot, shifting your body forward, lifting your back leg, extending your fingertips long overhead, fingertips and back toes in one long line. Now with control, we'll soften your back toes to the mat, hands frame foot, transitioning into our three leg dots. We'll move into our wild thing pose from here, slowly bend your top knee, and then lower your toes back to the earth behind you. Once they're lowered, press and lift your hips up towards the sky. Reach those fingertips away, getting nice and long. Good. Now we'll transition into our side plank. So in your own time, with control, bring your back leg either in one on top of the other or one in front of the other. And extend your left fingertips to the sky. We'll breathe in. And on the exhale, lower your top hand to the mat, plank pose. Exhalation, lower halfway, chaturanga. Big, beautiful breath in, upward facing dog. And then we'll lift those hips to down dog. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhalation, release. Big, nourishing breath in, circling fingertips up towards the sun. Palms kiss and lower to heart. Your feet at hip distance, parallel, grounding into the earth. Release your palms to your side, open to the space in front of you. Stack your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis. 
lengthening up the crown of your head as your shoulders soften back and down away from your ears. We're standing tall here in mountain pose, breathing, taking in the power of the light upon you. All right, my friends, let's breathe in to reach up. Palms kiss, reach back for mini back bend before you dive it down through center. We'll step one foot back and then the other for down dog. Take a gentle rock, a gentle sway of your hips, just your hips side to side like a dog wagging its tail. We'll soften your knees to the mat and flow through a few feel-good cat cows on your own. Really exaggerating the movement, finding what feels good, veering off from your typical cat cow form, just as your body guides you, feeling the energy of the light flowing through you, giving you deeper connection, deeper expression, shining your light brighter. And we'll find stillness. And with toes tucked, sit hips back to your heels. We're moving into a toe squat. So begin to lift your knees as you find your center and lengthen up to the crown of your head. You may bring your palms to kiss prayer at heart center if you'd like. From here, we'll open your knees wide side to side. This also means that you'll bring your heels to kiss and the mound of your big toes to kiss. Your toes will be open in line with your knees. Beautiful, my friend. We'll bring your fingertips to the mat in front of you and soften your knees to the mat. Bring your feet off to one side to bring them out in front of you. Bring soles of feet to kiss into butterfly pose, grasping along wherever is accessible and take a gentle sway left and a gentle sway to the right, back to center. On your exhale, round back in your spine, chin to chest. Breathe in to reach your heart center forward. Exhalation, round back and take a circle of your torso to the right. And then a circle of your torso to the left, arriving back at center. Bring your butterfly towards the front of the mat so you can slowly recline your upper body back to the mat. For a reclined butterfly or recline to bound angle pose. Let's lift your heart center up and then soften. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Bring your arms to rest at your side, palms facing up as a sign of being open and receptive to giving and receiving energy. Breathing here, breathing in the nourishing oxygen into your body, the oxygen that is powered by the plants, the plants that are powered by the sunlight. Taking a moment taking a final moment to appreciate the amazingness of Mother Nature and planet Earth. Slowly begin to heel toe your feet wide as you lift your knees up to center. Feet heel toe as wide as the mat. Knees fall into kiss at center. And slowly roll over to the right side. Take a full deep breath in through your nose. And a long, slow, complete exhalation. Make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position, finding your beautiful long spine, your eyes gently closed, hands relaxed however is comfortable. Taking a moment to feel into your body, into the effects of our practice upon your body, your mind, and your spirit. We'll take a big beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Your palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to your heart center. We'll breathe in, raise prayer to your third eye. Exhalation, bow forward to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with Johnny and I on the mat. I hope you feel deeply connected and amazing in body, mind, and spirit. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Please throw the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you've been joining us for a while, I would personally like to ask you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It is one very free and very easy way to help support our work in creating free, self-loving yoga practices for everyone to create their self-care space 
and enjoy in the comfort of their own home. Love and light to you, my friend.